Well, late this afternoon, the Coeur d'Alene School Board held a special meeting to address a $25 million hole in its budget after residents voted no on a levy that makes up 25% of the district's budget. That meeting held in front of a packed room of supporters and opponents of the levy rallied outside. KXY's Jordan Smith was at the meeting this afternoon. He joins us in studio with what the concerns are for board members and what's at stake if this levy does or doesn't pass. Aaron, the short answer is a lot is at stake. $25 million makes up a quarter of the school district's budget. And without that funding, the school district is poised to look and operate a whole lot differently. Inside the Midtown Meeting Center, school board members dealing with an unprecedented crisis. I'd like to thank the community um, for um, voting last week. Community members voting down a $25 million supplemental levy, along with a school plant facility levy, which would fund repairs needed within schools. Superintendent Sean Hawker painted a bleak outlook if that money disappears from the budget. The loss of 25% of our funding is equivalent to closing four and a half schools. With their current operation model, the loss of this funding would put the district in a $25 million deficit. As a result, major cuts would have to be made across the board as Superintendent Hawker pointed out. It includes the canceling of all sports and extracurricular activities. This means no school resource officers or campus security officers on our, on our grounds. It means no mental health department. It means reducing our nursing staff down to the very bare minimum and maybe beyond. It means no new curriculum. When it's all said and done, it would eliminate more than 300 positions across the district. The impact of this loss of funding seems obvious, so why did people vote no? I think we've all heard over the last week that probably one of our biggest uh, hurdles was that perpetuity conversation. In other words, that added clause would have permanently approved future levies, eliminating the public from voting on them every two years as they have in the past. The other obstacle, it seems, was concern over rising taxes. According to the district, funding this levy would cost the average household in Coeur d'Alene an additional $77 per year. And after all of that, after a 90 minute discussion, the school board voted to reintroduce the $25 million supplemental levy, this time without the perpetuity clause. This will go before voters on May 16th, and we will certainly be keeping an eye on this as we inch closer to that day. In studio, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.